Nepal has extreme topography that shapes its natural resources. The altitude varies from 8,848 meters to 500 meters north to south and the associated climate diversity supports rich flora and fauna. Nepal has high Himalayan mountains in the north, to the south are mid-hills foothills and the lowland terai with broad valleys fertile plains and tropical jungles. Approximately 6,000 rivers and streams fed with snowmelt and rainwater traverse the mountain ranges valleys and plains to feed into the Bay of Bengal, India. Kalagandaki A hydroelectric power station has situated near Mermi of Sangia district about 300 km to the west of Kathmandu and 100 km from Pokhara. In the same direction in Nepal. The hydropower project is also the biggest hydropower project in Nepal. The dam and headworks are situated on the Gandaki River at the confluence of the Antikola whereas the powerhouse is located downstream around a bend in the river in Beltari. About 7 km towards the southeast of Mermi. A 5.9 km long headrace tunnel connects the reservoir to the power station which contains 348 MW turbine generators. The owner and operator of the power plant are the Nepal Electricity Authority. It is a run-of-river type of project and currently is the largest power plant of any kind in Nepal with an installed capacity of 144 MW. Construction started in the year 1997 and was completed in the year 2002. The three turbine and generators Toshiba make were commissioned in March-April and May 2002. It was constructed primarily to curb the ever-increasing energy demand at that time and eliminate load shedding prevalent due to the imbalance in demand and supply of energy. It was constructed with the financial aid of the Asian Development Bank with total costs reaching $354.8 million. The power generated by the three turbines is evacuated to the central grid via a 132 kV single circuit, a 66 km long transmission line to Pokhara, and a 44 km double circuit transmission line to Butwal. The electricity is sent to Legnath Municipality in Butwal, known as Butwal-1 and Butwal-2. A substation has been constructed in Legnath Municipality, Kaski District and the existing Jojakuti substation in Butwal has been upgraded. The Aran 3 hydropower project the largest Indian backed project in Nepal secured more than 101 billion rupees from a consortium of Nepali and Indian banks for its construction. The construction of the estimated 104 billion rupees power plant started on May 12, 2018. Five Indian and two Nepali commercial banks agreed to invest 101.35 billion rupees in the project that is expected to generate power by 2023. The Aran 3 hydroelectric power plant is a 900 megawatts run of the river hydropower project under construction in Nepal. Scheduled for commissioning by 2024 it will be the biggest hydroelectric facility in the South Asian country. SJVN Aran 3 Power Development Company, a wholly owned subsidiary of India's Satlij Jal Vidyu Nigam, is developing the project on a build-own-operate transfer basis. SVJN is a joint venture between the Government of India and the Government of Himachal Pradesh. SAPDC will operate the facility for a period of 25 years, excluding the construction period of five years, before transferring the ownership to the Nepal government. Nepal will receive 21.9% of the electricity generated at the power plant as free power during these initial 25 years of commercial operations. The project development agreement was signed by the Investment Board of the Government of Nepal and SAPDC in November 2014. The financial closure for the project, which is estimated to cost approximately $983 million, was reached in February 2020. The foundation stone for the Aran 3 hydroelectric power project was laid in May 2018. The Aran 3 hydroelectric facility is being built on the Aran River in Sankhuwazaba district, Nepal. Aran is a tributary of the Koshi River in Nepal. The project site is located approximately 657 km east of Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal. The electricity generated by the Aran 3 hydroelectric power station will be transmitted to Muzaffarpur in India through a 317 km long 400 kV double circuit transmission line. SAPDC will construct the Nepal section of the transmission line that will stretch for approximately 217 km from the Aran 3 facility to Bathnaha at the Indo-Nepal border. 
SJVN and the government of Nepal signed a Memorandum of Understanding for the execution of Arun III on March 2, 2008. A total of 269 project affected families will be 30 units each of electricity for free every month and the project will generate 3,000 jobs. Nepal is among the richest in terms of water resource availability and it is one of the most important natural resources of the country water resources are abundant throughout the country in the form of snow covers rivers springs lakes and groundwater. The Upper Tumikashi Hydroelectric Project is the national priority project and when it is completed, it will be the largest hydroelectric plant in Nepal. The total project cost amounts to around Rs 70 billion as of date 2020. The Upper Tumikashi Hydroelectric Power Station is a 456 megawatts run of the river project under construction on the Tumikashi River in the Dolakha district, approximately 200 kilometers away from Kathmandu, Nepal. The developer and operator of the project are Upper Tumikashi Hydro Power Limited an autonomous company established by Nepal Electricity Authority NEA, in March 2007. The Upper Tumikashi Hydro Power Station is expected to produce 2,281 gigawatt of electricity a year. The project is developed for domestic supply in winter and export of surplus energy to India in the monsoon season. The project is entirely financed by domestic financial institutions and companies. The company has planned to develop hydropower projects in the Tamekashi River Basin. Upper Tamekashi comprises a 22 meters high and 60 meters long concrete dam, two 225 meters long descending basins, an 8.4 kilometers long headrace tunnel with 32.14 square meters of cross-sectional area, and an underground powerhouse, 142 meters long, 13 meters wide and 25 meters high, equipped with six Pelton turbine units. The power generated by the Upper Tumakashi Hydro Power Plant will be fed into the national grid. Through a 49 kilometers long double circuit 220 kV transmission line between Gonger and the Kimti Power Station. Thank you for watching World Report English, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.